Hello, I am Patrick Reynolds, here with Khaled Hosini. Welcome. Tell me a little bit about your childhood, please. Well, I was born in Kabul, the oldest of five. We were a very well-off family. I never felt like money was an issue. My father sheltered me from a lot of the poverty and suffering that occurred around us, so I would hear talk on the radio about the Russian invasion and how they were coming. He would always tell me that we would be safe and we never needed to worry. I spent my days playing with my siblings, ironically, flying kites. That's very interesting. Please tell me a little bit about who your father was to you. I looked up to my father very much. I was the oldest son, so I often tried to copy him growing up. I constantly wanted to make him proud. He taught me to be a good man such as he was and to live gen a generous and satisfying life. During the time I was in Afghanistan, there was a great deal of segregation towards the Hazara people. My father taught me to be kind to everyone and not judge them by where they came from or what they looked like. I had many Hazaran friends growing up. Do you remember a lot from the Russian invasion? I remember seeing people in the streets suffering in the day. I would see small kids on the street crying, entire families becoming homeless, and people being publicly beaten and stoned. At night, I would hear planes flying over my house. They were so loud that it would shake the whole house. I could hear bombs being set off. I was so scared that one would hit our home. Finally, my father decided to run away to Paris and be safe. Then, when Paris became too dangerous, we came to America. The integrating with society was the hardest part. I didn't speak English, so it was very difficult for me to go to school. But once I turned 15, I was able to overcome the language barrier. I became happier and found my calling in writing. What were some activities that you enjoyed to do uh, in your childhood growing up in Afghanistan? Well, playing with my siblings was always great. I remember playing tag and hiding and seek with my neighborhood in my neighborhood with the street kids. I also loved flying my kite. It was a very common, it was very common for kids my age to fly our kites in an open space. We would host competitions, much just like described in the book. Tell me a little bit more about your inspiration uh, to write your book, The Kite Runner. Well, I was halfway through med, med school when I found my passion in writing. Throughout the novel, you see bits and pieces of my own life, such as befriending a, Har a Hazaran and running away from the Soviets. I think that the biggest inspiration I had to write for my novel was to show the people firsthand what the Soviet invasion was like and what Afghanistan was like before it happened. Interesting. Throughout your book, you mention several ties to religion. Do you consider yourself to be a religious man? Well, I was raised Islam. And yes, I follow the faith as best I can today. In the book, I tied in a religious aspect because in Afghanistan, most are Muslim, and God is very important in our lives. Both my novels revolve around the Muslim religion and its ups and downs. My faith, my faith has helped me a great deal in my time of struggle. What types of influences were present in your home? Well, um, like I said, we were very sheltered as kids. But I had a lot of foreign poetry from Persia and other parts of Europe. My father wanted us to be very educated, so he would make us read various books from different countries and study very hard in school. Actually, if you notice, I went to the same school Amir did in Afghanistan. This may be a difficult question, but please tell me more about the inspiration behind the rape scene. Well, it's a metaphor for what several Afghans thought of their country during the war in 1979. It's a scene where Amir betrays Hassan. Many found this scene quite disturbing, but I was simply trying to accurately show the reality of pre-Soviet Afghanistan. How has your life changed since the publication of this book? Well, I thought at first that this book was not going to be very popular in America, but in Europe and other Middle Eastern countries. I was thrilled when I realized that it had become a bestseller. Fame was a great adjustment for my wife and I, but I am grateful for what my life is today. I would like to personally thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me.